what I see in front of me is someone who has experienced in her own life violence. So you've seen it, you are now talking about it. So you know what it's like for violence to be within a family and you know the impact of that on children, on yourself. Then you have this ability to connect with, with other people that have experienced that and you know what it feels like. And then when we're working with people, there's a connection because they know. Right, but I don't think that we have to experience violence to understand violence mm -hmm. or to have, and that's what empathy is about, mm -hmm. being able to walk in somebody else's shoes, to be able to feel what somebody else is feeling. I don't think we actually, because actually, I, I, I think that a lot of trauma prevents people from being empathic and having compassion. Mm -hmm. So there's a process to go from being traumatized to moving through to a place where you can actually relate to other people. Because you have a lot of traumatized people who cause violence, who don't necessarily have an understanding of what has happened to them yes. and a handle on it. Yes. You know, so, you know, obviously, and this is not what you're recommending. I know, I know you're not recommending that people should have trauma so that they can then relate to other people who have trauma. I know that's not what you're saying. No. But there is kind of, that is out there in the world that unless you've, you know, unless you've walked in my shoes, you don't know what this is about. Mm -hmm. Which, I mean, there's certain truth to that. Mm -hmm. But then there's also this thing that we were just talking about originally about, what about the human connection? Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, I guess I think I can walk in somebody else's shoes without actually having to have to go through everything that somebody else has gone through mm -hmm. or to be traumatized myself. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. I, I mean, sure. I mean, if, if that's not true, then we're in big trouble. Because then we have to be saying that everybody's got to be traumatized to feel somebody else's pain. No, we have to be a full, open human being to feel. We have to open our hearts. Trauma closes our hearts. Yep. That's what trauma does. And it's because yeah. out of defense. It's out of survival. Yes. You yes. Know, in fact... Sometimes, you know, when we, we, we can get upset about somebody's defenses, but sometimes it's your defense mechanisms that are saving your life. Exactly. You know, so exactly. we, you know, we don't want to have to live by them and live with them forever. Mm. But when they show up, we've got to pay attention to them. Yes, and we were talking earlier about my journey through trauma and, you know, how my brain has closed down to the events because I had no recollection of, of my personal trauma, sexual abuse in my early childhood, two, three years old until four years ago, and we've met through this. So certainly for me, I can only say my opinion is that my, my challenges in my life are actually my greatest um, salvation because I'm now leading my dream life. So connecting with people all around the world to bring together an organization that will look at the root cause of, of disease in the human condition the root cause of uh, social situations that are violence, rape. Trauma, from my understanding, lies at the heart of so much out there. So much of society's problems are coming from trauma. All different varieties and types from, from people. We've all experienced different elements. And then we go ahead and traumatize the animals and we traumatize the planet. For me, peace is here. It's in this space between us. It's the, the love that we are generated from. And the closing of the heart through trauma then allows, creates a separation that actually isn't there. And as the opening comes with the toolbox of all that is out there, and we both know how much is out there to help to to give everyone, for me, every man, woman, and child should have the opportunity that I have had to heal through those traumas. <laughs>